INFs are social butterflies. I also have a Twitch channel. Head on over there for more roleplay advice and other fun stuff. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about ENFJs and ENFPs. Yes, this is another MBTI Types video. If you missed any of the previous ones, I will link my first MBTI video up in the card. That's going to explain to you how MBTI works in basic, and it has the history of MBTI and basically all of the useful stuff you need to know to understand what we're talking about in this video. And today, we're going to talk about the two ENF types. And remember, MBTI is primarily a workplace tool, and you can use it to think about how your character acts, reacts, makes decisions, and what they notice in their environment. The first letter of your MBTI type is either E for extroversion or I for introversion. This is your favorite world. Do you prefer to focus on your outer world or your inner world? Those who prefer extroversion tend to draw their energy from action. They tend to act, then reflect, then act further. If they're inactive, their motivation tends to decline. To rebuild their energy, extroverts need time away from that reflection period and get back into the action. The second letter is either S for sensing or N for intuition. This defines how you process information. Do you prefer to focus on the basic information you take in or do you prefer to interpret information and add meaning? Those who prefer intuition tend to trust information less dependent on the senses and more with how it interacts with other information. They may be more interested in future possibilities. For them, meaning is in the underlying theory and principles that manifest from the data. The third letter is either T for thinking or F for feeling. This is how you make decisions. Do you first look at logic and consistency, or do you first look at people and special circumstances? Those who prefer feeling tend to decide things based on empathizing with the situation, looking at it from the inside and weighing the situation to achieve consensus. They tend to consider, first and foremost, the needs of the people involved. ENFs are social butterflies. They use their intuition to make connections between people, and they're usually right about those connections due to their feelings. All of this is nurtured by their exhaustive ability to keep up with those relationships. The difference between these types is in the last letter, either J for judging or P for perceiving. This is how you deal with the outside world. Do you prefer to decide things, or do you prefer to stay open to new information? ENFs are known as protagonists. Those who prefer judging feel most comfortable when they have a plan, and they'd rather come up with five backup plans than deal with events as they come. Preferring to consider their options ahead of time, personality types with this trait prefer clarity and closure, sticking to the plan rather than going with the flow. Combine that with their ENF nature of being a social butterfly, and that means ENFJs radiate authenticity. How they are is exactly how they feel. Protagonists are tolerant, reliable, charismatic, altruistic, and natural leaders. But they're also overly idealistic, too selfless, too sensitive, have fluctuating self-esteem, and struggle to make tough decisions. MBTI was developed for the workplace, so let's see how ENFJs handle their career. ENFJs need a career that helps them help others. Because they take a genuine interest in other people, they're the person in the office that knows everyone. They approach tasks creatively and honestly, which means they're going to be the happiest if they focus on how they can help others through their work and not get bogged down in the minutiae detail of spreadsheets and number targets. They're their best when they're keeping vital services organized and running well by providing for the needs of those that do enjoy those details. They may struggle in jobs that require high situational awareness. For example, though a career in law enforcement or the medical field may scratch that itch for helpfulness, an ENFJ is likely to lay awake at night thinking about that patient they didn't save or that crime scene they got to too late. Instead, they should focus on nurturing their intuition and choosing careers that help others without such high stakes. They make great consultants, salesmen, managers, event coordinators, teachers, politicians, 
clergy, or writers. ENFPs are known as campaigners. Those who prefer perceiving are much more flexible when it comes to dealing with unexpected challenges. This flexibility helps them seize unexpected opportunities as well. These personality types tend to react to their environments rather than try to control them, helping them to make their own luck when whatever the world delivers. People with this trait hold that life is full of possibilities. Combine that with their ENF natures of being social butterflies, and that means ENFPs are the life of the party, making connections with everyone around them. Campaigners are curious, observant, energetic, excellent communicators, friendly, and know how to relax. But they're also overthinkers, find it difficult to focus, have poor practical skills, get stressed out easily, are highly emotional, and tend to be rule breakers. MBTI was developed for the workplace. So let's see how ENFPs handle their career. ENFPs are fascinated by new ideas, either in their field of expertise or a brand new field to them, and they desire a career that matches. Where thinking types apply logic to machines and systems, ENFPs have that same ability, but they apply it to people in interpersonal relationships. These traits combined make them well-suited for less technical careers and more technical ones. For example, they can be the engineer on the team that truly understands what the end user wants out of the widgets they make. ENFPs may struggle to work in hierarchical or strictly regimented jobs. This is because they love big new ideas and thrive on the ability to disrupt the status quo to try out those ideas. When they want change, they want to implement it quickly and jobs that deter them from that can stifle their creativity. Because these things can kill their drive and enthusiasm, ENFPs have to be careful to pick a company to work for that actually cares about change and agility. This may mean they end up moving jobs a lot throughout their lifetime. They make great reporters, politicians, teachers, diplomats, journalists, actors, engineers, or consultants. ENFJs and ENFPs thrive in highly social environments. Where they differ is that ENFPs tend to be the real life of the party, building themselves up through social connections they make with other people. And ENFJs tend to be more concerned with interpersonal authenticity, and they want to help themselves and their colleagues live their truths. So that's ENFJs and ENFPs. Do you have any ENF characters? After watching this, are you interested in making one? Let me know all about your ENFJs and ENFPs down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.